My name is George Hurst. In this program, I would like to show you a few basic leather dyeing techniques. The first thing I'd like to show you today is how to do some overall color dyeing or solid color dyeing. Uh, I'll use the EcoFlow dye in this case. And because this is a narrow belt, I'm going to use a dauber. Now a dauber will work quite well for a, a belt or something narrow or small, but for a larger project we'll show you a little different method. Now here, notice I'm going back and forth and I could also go in a circular motion and go over this several times as you see me here then we'll set it aside to dry. After it dries it may be necessary to give it additional applications. I have allowed this to dry and uh, I don't know if you can see it on the video but it's turning lighter here in a few places so I'll take a paper towel or a soft cloth and I'll rub on the surface. This gets rid of any excess pigment that's laying on the surface as you can see here on my paper towel. So now I'll just do the same thing and uh, go over it the same way I did before. Allow this to dry and as a rule two coats is plenty. Uh, it's a good idea after you apply dye to apply some Neats Foot Oil or Neats Foot Oil compound after it dries. And then of course buff it with a cloth. For this next segment I want to show you how to do a solid dyeing on a larger area and in this case uh, you know, I'm going to use some EcoFlow uh, Canyon Tan Dye. Uh, this can be done quite easily with a sprayer if you have uh, a place to spray it outdoor or where it's well ventilated and have like a spray box of some kind. Otherwise, you can do it with a uh, t-shirt, an old uh, t-shirt or soft cloth. And in this case, you'll notice I'm also wearing uh, rubber gloves because I'm going to tip this over onto my rag as you see here. And then I will take the rag and I will rub it in a circular motion. And I'll keep adding dye as needed. Now you'll notice it's kind of streaked. Uh, the way you solve that is you just keep adding dye and keep going over and over as you see me doing here. And you keep doing it until you're satisfied with the coverage of your color. After you're pleased with the, the way your leather looks, it's time to set it aside to dry and then apply your favorite finish. In this segment, we're going to do some uh, inlay dyeing in that we're going to dye the background area of this design. Now to do that, I'm also going to use the EcoFlow leather dye. And you'll notice I have put some of it in the cap here. I find it easier to to manage if it's in a cap than down in the bottle. Now I will first of all tell you that the minute I touch this brush, as you see here, a lot of the dye will rush out of the brush. So always start in an open area as you see me doing here. Then as the brush dries, you can move up to the borders. Always start out here and then 
as you get the feel for the brush, come up to your borders. Now, as it's almost completely dry, then you can go into these narrow pointed areas very carefully. Now, I'm also using a number two tie brush. A number two or smaller is what I recommend for this job. Now, turn it as necessary so that you can comfortably get up to your lines. and take your time. No big hurry to do this. And here you can see how nicely our floral pattern stands out now from the background by the application of the inlay die. At this point, we would apply the finish of our choice.